what we know is that the prognosis of patients with Schlange carcinoma is really poor. Um, they do respond to chemotherapy, but the median overall survival is around one year in, in first-line trials and in second-line trials around six months. So there's clearly an unmet need to improve treatment options for these patients. And what we really have learned is that around 40% of patients with Schlange carcinoma um, have genetic alterations for which we have already today um, drugs available. Here, I think it's really important to distinguish between intrahepatic and extrahepatic Schlange carcinoma because the genomic profile differs a little bit. And specifically for patients with intrahepatic Schlange carcinoma, we need to look for IDH1 mutations and um, FGFR2 fusions. Um, we have seen now really a lot of drug alterations, and I think there are probably more than 10 targets today, which um, include BRA, FAUS 600E, B600E, e, non B600E, uh, non B600E, BRAF mutations, MDM2 amplification, KRAS mutations, KRAS G12C. So there are really multiple genetic alterations. For some of these alterations, we have some evidence based on phase two studies for ivozinib and the IDH1 mutations. We have phase three evidence, um, not, not yet an approval, but I think that this would be expected very soon also by, by EMA. Um, for some iterations, it's a little bit more tricky, and we might only have um, data from other tumor types. So I strongly recommend, first of all, to do the NGS sequencing as early as possible. Use a broad um, panel, which also includes um, RNA sequencing to detect the um, fusions, not only FGFR2 fusions, but also NRG1 fusions, for example. And then if you get a report, um, I, I strongly advise to, to, to present these data and discuss these patients um, in a, mo a molecular tumor board because sometimes it's really difficult to understand if there are drugable alterations, yes or not, and what should be um, best um, used. So I think um, these targeted therapies have really a significant impact for our um, patient care, and this is something that should be really offered every patient with um, carcinomas.